I'm Zach Gaughan, I play tight end, and I'm a senior this year. My name's Jesse Trent. Uh, I'm going to graduate this next coming fall. Isaiah Maxey, Kansas City, Missouri, wide receiver, sophomore. You know, after your last game as a senior in high school, you kind of get this uh, overwhel overwhelming feeling of uh, sadness, I guess, because you think that you're never going to put the pads on again, and then you kind of get that excitement back again, thinking, you know, I'll, I'll be able to play again in college, and then. The excitement just keeps building up with the more coaches that you talk to. You know, this has been part of who I am for a long, long time now, four years of my life. And coming out of high school, you don't think much about being here for four years. And it really has become a family and a support system for me for everything that we do. Um, you know, from classes to having family issues, you have something to lean back on, whether it be the coaches that we have here or the best friends you'll make for your life. I, I wanted to play as a true freshman. I wanted to prove to myself that I could play at this level, I could play at any level, and just go out there and compete and have fun with my teammates, my brothers. One of the reasons I came here because of the coaching staff. Um, when I met my coach, my position coach, he, he really sold the, the receiver position because he said, I coach elite receivers. Okay, all right, I like that. I think it starts with our coaching staff. They, uh, they are really close, um, so they set a good example for our players to be, uh, to be close on all levels, uh, on the football field, off the football field, you know, hanging out in the locker room or, or at home even. Just uh, um, being close with your teammates is something that we see every day, uh, so it's, it's really easy for us to just follow in line and, and you know, act like a family because we have great examples shown to us how to be a family. I have a, the utmost respect for this coaching staff because they've, they handle the business side of it, but at the same time, they're supportive. You know, I, like I said, I have a lot of heart for this because I've been so tied to it. You know, I've spent countless hours here in Hayes to make myself better and try to make the guys around me better. And that when you spend that time, that's, that's what draws a connection. And spending the time together like these guys here have done and are doing, um, that's what builds a team. You know, that, that's why you come to this university is to be a part of this collectiveness, be a part of a family, meet guys you'll want to be around for the rest of your life. But what really set Fort Hayes apart from other schools was the, I felt like it was a family, like just that factor and that, that brotherhood, like, hey, you do you and we're going to do us, but we still can do it together. Anybody else who uh, drives into town on Main Street and comes down Elm Street, they're going to see the indoor facility. We just got that. Um, but now that we have the indoor, it's just right next to the football field. So, uh, you know, we can do all of our weightlifting over there, um, some of our treatments over there at the football field. And, uh, just gives us a football field to be on year round. So that's that's huge. So what more could you ask for in Division Two? You know, we have an indoor, we have brand new weight room, and our facilities are continually getting better. You can't out of the divisions two schools that I visited, Hayes puts them to rest. You you may not think you could do a lot with 60 yards, but listening to the older the older players, I feel blessed. One thing that I find really exciting is uh, just the level of competition in our conference. Um, every year we've got some of the best teams in the country and uh, being able to play uh, at, at our home stadium on homecoming and Oktoberfest in front of thousands of fans, it's just, it's really exciting. When, when, it, when the stands get packed and the place is rocking, that's, there's no better place to play. As long as we keep gaining success, keep winning, 
that place will continue to grow in, in the fans that show up and how how nuts it'll be. We look a lot different than past teams and it feels like the community is really behind us. They really want to see us succeed. Like after the Pitt State game, I felt like a celebrity because when we got off the bus, there was lights around us and there were like cameras in our face and like people were lining up, shaking their hands, cheering for us. Just, they just want the best for us and that makes me work harder like in the weight room. That makes me work harder on the field because there's so many people behind us, win or lose. You know, we, we've, we've improved. We're on the up, up and going. Um, and that, that's exciting to me. You know, you leave your, you leave your handprints on something and you don't get to do that very often in this life. Great tomorrow, everybody got me. Yes,